Okay, well, you know what? I kind of retract what I said. He did seem adorable, but the moment I saw those really long legs... Oh, what the heck is that? Oh, that can't be good. Um, I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, no! What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Hob. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon, and this right here is one that I've been eyeing for a very long time. This is brought to us by Runic, which is the team behind Torchlight 1 and 2. If you played those games, you know they're amazing, so they're really known for good quality product. And Hob is a game that I've been following for a very long time. The development, the art, the style of the game is beautiful. It's an amazing like combination of steampunk with a world that's been overrun by just the world itself. Mountains, trees, and the story is kind of like really shrouded in mystery. I can't really tell you much about that, but I'm here to find out what it's all about because this is one that I've been eyeing for a while and I'm just super excited to actually have it here to play for us finally. So all the information for Hob will be down below in the description in case you want to follow it for yourself or pick it up for yourself as well. Without further ado, let's get into the game because I am super excited about this one. Oh, I'm in control. <laughs> Sorry, I thought we were still part of the cutscene here. Oh, that's awesome. Alright, so that's the introduction right there, which is basically Awaken. Apparently some big robotic dude just unleashed me from wherever I was at. Is there a character here? I'm using a gamepad for this one. You could use a keyboard and mouse, but it's suggested to use a, a gamepad, so... I'll be using that one here for today anyway. Let's see, so this is my dude. I could jump around. I could row, dodge row, okay. There's gonna be combat in the game, puzzles, all sorts of cool stuff like that. We have wildlife over here, too. You're a really interesting looking character. You're, you're kind of cute, but also kind of terrifying because I'm not really sure what to make of you just yet. So where did my robotic friend run off to is my real big question. He unleashed me and then he is booked or what? What is this? Can I climb? Oh, we could climb, alright. But I don't think we're supposed to come in under here. Where's this robot at? <laughs> just left me there. Just woke me up. Oh, there he is. How you doing, buddy? It's a very beautiful world, but I'm, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Over there? Okay, I can do that. Yeah, it's a, it's a very interesting, um, maybe save point, I wouldn't say. A future warp area as well, or warp point maybe. Oh, man, you're just opening stuff up for me, huh? Well, thank you. Like, will you be coming along with me in this quest to, like, you know, be my big buddy? Because if so, I don't got to worry about much. This guy will take everything for me. Look at him. I can jump on him. Uh, uh, oh, man. I would find a really adorable where we could just kind of, like, latch onto his shoulder and hang out there. What's this? That doesn't look too good. Yeah, that doesn't look too good. It doesn't look as pretty as everything else over here. I'm not even to touch that. Yeah, I ain't touching that. Where, where'd you go to? Aha. Uh -huh. Alright. <laughs> you know, if there's no pad, he'll make one for himself. As you can imagine, the story, it does seem, based on the description alone and what we've seen thus far, it was going to be really abstract, so I really enjoy games like that, where it's kind of like not straight up told to you what you're doing here, what's happening. I love just kind of figuring out on my own, like based on the setting itself, the things we run into. Right now I'm a bit lost, other than the fact that I, I could tell just by what we're seeing here that at some point humanity as we knew it of some kind did fall. And this is the remnants of it right here. All this purple stuff is very intriguing, though. No. It doesn't look too good. It reminds me of the stuff from, again, Breath of the Wild. I did say Breath of the Wild earlier. I didn't say Breath of the Wind. I, I keep calling it Breath of the Wind for some reason. It's Breath of the Wild. Alright, so now... Good God Almighty, you're a pretty strong dude. You just punch that around, or what? what? What's that? You want me to follow this? Where are you going? What was this for? What's this over here? Oh! 
Oh. Oh, I get you. You want me to... Okay. So we push that over there, and then we had the little cute critter right there for me to do some puzzling, some platforming. Apologies for the cut there. I, uh, you know, nature called. What can I say? So, anyway, back to this. So it does seem we have to probably platform our way through here. Which is the reason that big boy just went ahead and smashes around here for us. I like how things are just very... It's very quaint how that, he punched it and it kind of went around in a circle because the tracks for it are on the ground, so... At some point, it's all worked out in this regard, huh? Oh, there he is, okay. So, what now, buddy? No, I don't think I want to jump down through there. You're just gonna watch the fields? Okay, well. <laughs> oh, Jesus, my God. Oh. Are you friendly? I hope you're friendly. Oh, he's adorable. Look at this giant alien creature. Man, this is actually a really pretty game. I love the setting already. Okay, well, you know what? I kind of retract what I said. He did seem adorable, but the moment I saw those really long legs... Oh, what the heck is that? Oh, that can't be good. Um, I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, no! Okay, obviously I don't think he killed me, but he obviously took my arm off. Yep. Nah, that's my arm there. I told you that purple stuff was up to no good. Oh, man. Lost an arm already. Oh, man. I, you know, Mr. Robot, I gotta blame you. You left me alone to my own devices. You know, I, I had to explore and... Unfortunately, when you leave... Oh, look, I'm dying. When you leave me to my own devices, I get into trouble. You know, I tend to look around a bit and touch what I'm not supposed to touch. I'm that person who just can't see something. I have to touch it, too. Albeit in my... Oh. Oh, am, am I about to get your arm? Oh, I feel terrible about that. He's not going to have no arm because of me. I'll say in my defense, though, I actually didn't touch something this time around. So I imagine now that we have an arm, we might be able to get into some combat, too. So that was the entire tutorial to it. I like it, I really do. I feel kind of bad, though, that Mr. Robot lost his arm because of... ...this guy over here being a dingus. I wonder how seamless the procedure was as well, to just attach a robotic arm to a... ...somewhat... ...biological being. I imagine that's what I am, I mean... This seemed like that arm was attached to me pretty well through bone and everything. Alright, so let's come up through here. And maybe we get some answers. Now we're good. Oh, check it. So now we can interact with these blocks. Aha! Uh -huh. So supposed to go in all the way around like we did last time. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, I guess there was an upside of me losing my arm after all. I mean, I feel bad for the robot, but... At least, yeah, I blame you too, Mr. Daddy Long Legs. I was gonna say, that guy looked very cute until I saw those very long legs and then that thing scared me. But yeah. Very adorable, but I can't deal with long legs, you know, it just, it's too spider-like and it, you know, spiders freak me out. This is where I lost my arm. Oh, as a matter of fact, my arm is literally right there, you see it? Oh, man. Oh, there was a dude over there. Did you see that? Oh, he's gone now. There was like a dude over there watching me through the arch when he ran off, I think. I saw like a shadow running off. Okay, so now that we have an arm, can I do something over here? Nope. Well, at least we'll move this. Pulley, pulley. We're taking you this side? Yeah. Alright. Let's come up through here. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I totally love this setting, like... I would just want to kind of go around and just explore for a while. It's an open world, too, to some degree, so it does seem that there is that... ...that option, too, like, go out there and explore. Oh, there's a dude over there. It's Mr. Daddy Longlegs again. There's a dude over here, too, though. Oh, Mr. Robot! Hey! I'm sorry about your arm, man. Yeah, hi. Yeah, I know. I know. I feel bad about that. I really do. <laughs> there's no reason for you to lose your arm because I'm a dumbass. Oh, uh, okay. So what, what's this here? Ooh, sword time. Yeah. Like the hero of time. Uh, 
Okay. Well, that guy seemed to be very similarly dressed to me. Same type of hood with the little tassels over there on the back. I probably am some sort of, some sort of hero of time. Oh, he can't open it anymore because he lost his arm. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I'll help you out, okay? Teamwork. Yeah. Oh, that's adorable. I mean, in a morbid way because he lost an arm. But it's still slightly adorable. What are you giving me? Oh, the sword! Down through here? You're not gonna come along? Okay, I mean, you saw what happened last time when you left me alone, you know? I'm just saying, the, the track record right now isn't really too great in my favor. What is this, like a dungeon or what? This is beautiful, man. <laughs> this is just beautiful. Alright, what is this? Um, I just wanted to check it out, I'll just jump into it. Uh, huh. Costumes, outfits, maybe? I don't know. Well, we haven't locked it, that's for sure. What are you? Oh, the sword! Last part. Okay. So we're rebuilding the sword. It's like a forge den. Or maybe like a hideout? Well, we got a sword here. It might be able to... Upgraded down the line, we have that little weird tube. There's one more thing for us to check out as well. Hey, it never tracks as well. How accommodating. And it's been replaced. By you. So I, I imagine we could probably upgrade the sword down the line. Gotta get some more pieces or something. Pretty cool. Or maybe it breaks or something? I got no idea. I'm just spitballing right now. What about you? What are your what's your deal? Oh, oh sweet. So these green things give me sword combo, sword thrust, different abilities, agility, improved at rolling dodge, mechanical shield. All right. So yeah, this is technically I guess like a base of some kind. Come over here for the outfit thing perhaps, upgrade your weapon, get some more skills. Very, very cool. And can I Oh, baby, you been. Damn right, we get attack now. All right. Well, I'm glad we didn't lose another arm. That was my big worry here. Aww. This guy's so adorable. He's like a giant, the friendliest robot of all time with a bird in his finger and everything. Okay. Well, I got a sword now. Oh, sweet. Oh, awesome. Alright, so what do I do now? Probably combat. We got a sword. Teach me how to do some combat or something. Well, I'm coming down this side. Not sure if I have to or not, but I'm doing it. Could jump across too. Give yeah, it a try. What? What are you? No, no, no. What are you? Oh, sweet for the upgrade. So I could go back now and upgrade my abilities to something. So you'll find them in like, we'll call this like a chest, I guess, huh? All right. Very cool. What about that blue thing up above? There's so many intriguing little details about the world that I'm. <laughs> Trying to figure out what it's all about. Is this like a way for me to go down? Yeah. Alright. Hey, little birdie. How you doing? Oh, you're adorable too. Everything's adorable in this game. Um, I guess down below we go. Got another command prompt. Hey, look at that guy. Oh. He disappeared. Alright, that's it. Observe the guy. Eh, maybe you gotta follow him or something. That is a very beautiful sight, though. God, God, this game is so good. I know I keep talking about how beautiful it looks, but, I mean, come on, let's, let's be real here. It is so colorful. Alrighty. And we got some parkouring as well. Not technically not parkouring, but... We call it, like, Prince of Persia-esque type of climbing. There is that over there. I don't think we could reach that one for now, though. Amazing music, too. All right, so let's dig you out. And chances are we're going up above through... Oh, little birdie. Jumped through here and here, I guess, right? Yep. Okay. Cross. I'm interested to see what happens if you fall down, like... 
<laughs> like if you die instantly, you just like lose a heart or something. Oh, and here's the thing we saw earlier. Sweet. And then jump. All right. I'm digging this. Tree, can I cut you down? No. Oh. Don't break the sword, Falcon. Um. You somewhat don't look as friendly as the other dudes I've seen thus far, and you're rushing me right now. Okay, this is our combat, finally. Totally is! Okay. Let's get your patterns down. Huh, I guess you only die in one swing, so I don't really have to learn your pattern. Ha <laughs> Dodge rolls and everything. Um. You look mighty angry, and you're a relatively big guy with a big axe for you. Yes, that's a Bane meme. Uh... Let me guys have to fight him, don't I? I could go around it, does seem. No, can I? Maybe? Oh, another one of those things over there. But... I can get through. For now. No. Alrighty. Well, let's go deal with this big guy. Now... Curiously, can I backstab in this game? Just sneak up. I mean, let's see. Can I do a slash it? Though I mean, a strong attack, strong attack. No, just straight up slash, huh? Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Oh, you do a swing as well. Ah <laughs> ha! You hit your your axe in that pillar there, didn't you? Okay. <laughs> Swingy. And then you go in for the attack. Oh, and that's it! Ah, oh, you're an easy dude to bring down. I was worried for nothing. We got 12 now. And some HP. Very cool. So now what? So you don't got the power that I do, man. I got the magical robot arm here. That gives me access to stuff like this. You can't just brute force it down like my big robotic friend. Alright. It's like our first dungeon of some kind. So I have a save point here. There seems to be Mr. Baticus up there. I think you're a bat, right? You look very bat-like. Oh yeah, you're totally bats. Oh, oh. Where was that? Uh -huh. Okay, don't fall, Falcon. Like in typical video game cliche, I thought that was going to actually start dropping him when I jumped through. But it didn't. Which I'm glad to see. Uh, there's two different ways to go. We have this one. Oh, Mr. Bad. There's also like an upper way to go as well. Should I go check that one out first? Eh. Because this seems to go down and there's a ladder that's broken, so I don't think I'll be able to come back up. I'm sorry. I gotta always check out like every single path imaginable before I commit to one. Oh, that was it over here. I thought there was more to this. There's a door there, but we can't access it just yet. Okay. Well, I needed to double check, you know, suit my curiosity here. I'm always the guy that takes the shorter pad as opposed to the long one, because the long one usually takes you to like your next destination, so the sh short one normally is kind of like a side pad, secret item, of secret area of some kind. You have a save point here. Oh, Mr. Mr. Um, Birdie Guy's back there too. Just flew off again. Oh, I see. Okay, there's another area around it. So this is how we get to you. Yeah, what's the worst that can happen? Just go ahead and uh, stick one of your limbs in there. It's gotta be the robotic one, too. The one that a robotic friend sacrificed himself for. Wow, I just came apart. I love the fact that it just completely goes apart and you can see the upgrade added to it and it gets put back together. That's really, really cool. I love design. Like, small little things like that in games. I love stuff like that. Okay, so we now... Oh, ho! Oh. We can bring that down. Sweet. Yes, I did fall. <laughs> Alright, hold this down. Smashy, smashy! Yeah! Alright. So that's over with. Alright, so I think we can climb through here. Yes, sirree, Bob. That jump. Keep looking at these bats like thinking they're gonna do something, but they haven't just yet. 
I guess it's like a Legend of Zelda thing for me at this point. Like, I just know they're gonna dive bomb me at some point. Oh, they're all converging at one point to, like, stop me altogether. Oh! Oh! -ho -ho! And that's what we saw earlier. Sweet. So I've seen a couple of places in the already, like, on our way over here that we could, I guess, now break with our little robotic upgrade. So the problem here is we can't make that jump, so I guess we have to go through here now. Sweet. And... Oh, a smash! Oh, sweet! And we got a ladder now, too. Alright, so that's a dead end here. Down below we go. Oh, that's convenient. Alright. Here's another thing I, I miss about, like... I mean, some games still do it, yeah, but it's not too common nowadays. Fixed camera angles like this. I love stuff like that because it lets you, like, it lets the developers focus on a really cool, like, area. Like, to see the ultimate details and stuff. Like, I, I got really obsessed with fixed angles when I used to play um, Resident Evil back in the day. Like, for the PlayStation 1 and stuff like that. But, you know, Resident Evil was really big on fixed camera angles. And I just, you know, I really miss them in modern gaming. Because now everything's, like, you know, free camera. Which is fine, you know? But... Sometimes, like, fixed camera angles gives you, like, a really cool perspective on something they want you to focus on. I don't know, just old man, old man complaining. We're not really complaining, but just, like, an old man, like, Back in my days, you know, we had fixed camera angles, and you kids nowadays with your free cameras just looking over the place. I just noticed all those bats over there, too, in that little cylinder thing. And we're back above. Hey, uh, okay. We're almost back above before I fall. We're back here. Sweet. All right, Mr. Robot, I got an upgrade. I can now punch like you do as well. And I'm fairly happy about it. Oh, there he is. Hey. Hey, buddy. What are you telling me? something else. Oh! So we have, like, our, our guide point now. Where we need to go. Alright. So he gave me a map. That way. Alright, so I'll go that. Alright, you're just gonna sit down, take a little break? Alrighty. Well, you did point at the ground at some point, and then this over here. And then you pointed off over there, which was beautiful sight, mind. And you want me to come down this way. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, totally. Yeah, we gotta break this, obviously. Alright. Well, are we out of time with this video? I believe we are. Alright, guys. Well, this is Hob. I am thoroughly loving this this far. This is so good. <laughs> like, it's just beautiful. I, I, I'm in love with the design and the subtle, like, the subtle, um, story this far as well. If you guys want to see some more of this, you let me know in the comments. You let me know by leaving a thumbs up in the video. We can do that. Otherwise, all the information for Hob will be down below in the description. I definitely encourage you to check it out if you're into games like this. If you're not, then, you know, it's obviously not your cup of tea. But if you're into, like, adventure games like this, then thus far, pretty good. And if you want to see a bit more of this in the channel to kind of come to a conclusion yourself about it, you let me know and we might cover a couple more videos here and there. But so far, this is really, really beautiful. Performs well. I'm excited about this one. I will catch you next time.